Fern Young talking to you from Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world. With such stars as Carl Smith, Artie Robbins, Whip Pierce, Ernest Cub, Little Jimmy Dickens, and Jim Reeves, Ray Price, and yours truly, Fern Young. with us. We've got a big time in store for you, so sit back and make yourself comfortable, take it easy, pull off your shoes, and we're going to really have a ball right here on the old country show. Right now, without doing too much talking, I want to get a fella out here that kind of keeps the show going and keeps folks well entertained. He comes from down in Maynardsville, Tennessee. A big, long, tall fella does a wonderful job of singing a song. Here he is, Carl Smith. like <laughs> Out of me, I feel like crying. Now I'm forsaken, and you have taken the heart out of me. I saw you, darling, in town last night. You and your new love were doing all right. I stood there staring with such surprise. I couldn't. my own time. I feel like crying. My heart is breaking cause you were made a fool out of me. I feel like crying. Now I have taken the heart out of me, no use denying, I still love you, 
I feel like crying. What else can I do? When it comes to singing a real fine song, I don't think you could beat Carl Smith. We're awful happy to have him here with us on Country Time for this for this big half hour that we're running this time. And hope you folks are enjoying it because, well, sir, you, we got so many stars on the show today that we're bound to have one of your favorites. And it's like Carl Smith is mine and many, many more. We've got a pretty girl coming out here now that I know is bound to be a favorite with them all. It's the Golden Hillbilly herself, Miss Goldie Hill. <laughs> There's been no mail for me With tear dimmed eyes Each day I sigh And hope you still remember Of the plans we made for a wedding day And a love so sweet and tender I'm waiting for a letter from my baby Each time I breathe your name Tears fills my eyes I'm waiting With a smile, the postman passed me by. folks would go enjoy Miss Goldie. She always does a real fine job. Right now, though, we've got a lot of foolishness planned for all you folks out there. And Well, so when this fella gets out, you can't ever tell what's going to happen. So I guess we might as well get him out of here. I can't get out of it. Rod Brassfield. <laughs> Good to see you, Mr. Young. Hey, I want to ask you something. What is it? Did you tell Carl Smith I was a fool? No, I don't know how he found it out. <laughs> Hey, you play golf, Fern? <laughs> no, right now, I don't Boy, know. Boy, I had more fun this morning, played nine holes out here with a friend of mine, old Dave Wise. Uh -huh. Boy, he got all teed up there and he let go and got a beautiful drive right down the fairway. Ball stopped right in the middle of a great big old ain't hill. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and he got his iron out trying to get out of that ain't hill, and they was, they was ants and dirt flying 90 foot high there, boy. <laughs> Finally, he knocked all them ants out of that ain't hill except two little ants. Too, huh? One of them says to the other, and if we want to live, buddy, we're going to have to get on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> 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 have, have you got any idea where a fella like me could get a job at? Say, come to think of it, I do, Rodney. You looking for a job? Yeah, I sure am. I'm hungry by well, now. <laughs> I've got a brother that owns a newspaper. Possibly no, he could... I can't eat newspapers. No, wait a minute. <laughs> He'll give you a job uh, working as a reporter. Maybe. Well, I never did do that, but I, I, it might be fun. You might. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll find out how good a reporter you are, right? Yeah, right. Yes, sir. Really. Yeah, I don't know if nothing has uh, happened to you. No, but I'll tell you what. I'll play editor, and you act like you're the reporter. Yeah, you're going to try You go out and get me some real hot news. Yeah. Bring it back in there, too. All right, all right, Fred. I'll go see if it's anything. All right, sir. And <laughs> we'll just go right on with the show here and get okay, another fellow out. Hey, Fred, hey, boss. Boss, oh, there's something terrible happened. What is it? A right? bridge washed out between here and Linden, Tennessee. Good. When? The uh, night before last. And oh, he just took no. the bridge. No, no, no. It washed it. I read it in the that... paper yesterday morning. 
Huh? Rodney, I want some hot news. I don't want something that's already been printed in a newspaper. To be a reporter, you got to be on the ball. Look at hot news. Yeah, too slow. Well, so now we got rid of him. Hey, boss! Hey, with... boss! It had a big fire, boss. Big fire, boss. Massachusetts. Oh, wonderful. Rodney. Yeah. When? Last night. I heard him talking about it on the radio. Oh, but... right, Brad Spillman. Don't come here and bring me no cold news. If that's, you want to sell newspapers, you've got to have hot news. Too slow. Too slow. You've got to believe it. Hey, boss! Something happened. Something terrible's happened. Man shoots his wife. Oh, really? When? Listen. I guess that's just about, <laughs> I think that's soon enough. I don't think you can see it. Rod Bradford. What did I tell you? You don't never know what's going to happen when he gets out here. We got another fella coming out here. We all know, always know what's going to happen, though, when he comes out, because we're all going to sit back and enjoy ourselves to a real toast of a fine song. Here he is now, Marty Robbins. Come on. Don't listen. Whatever you do, if you show me life, what they say about me, they'll say about you. So kiss me and dry the Trying to keep us apart. The vows that were spoken were meant to be broken. Don't turn me away from your heart. It's cheap and it's so. trying to keep us apart the vows that were spoken were meant to be broken don't turn me away Champion Square Dancer. Let's go. <laughs> Yet you want me to 
to go on walking. How I pray that you will say that we're through. Please turn me loose. What's the use? Let me go, lover. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Without any further talking from me, let's get them on out here. Sam and Kirk McGee. Somebody here and being glad to have them, these next two folks we really are happy to have with us. The old Grand Ole Opry wouldn't be the same without them. One of them comes from Grinder Switch and the other from Hornwall, Tennessee. You know who I'm talking about. Rod Bradfield, Minnie Pearl. <laughs> Can't find that there mini pearl nowhere. Have you seen her? No, I haven't. I thought she's coming out here with you. Well, I just can't find her. Hi, Minnie. Hi, dear Rodney. We're looking for you. Where in the cat? Where are you going? Well, I'm going back to school, Rodney. Going back to school? Yeah. Did you know they've got a brand new school teacher at Grinder Switch? Hold up. And he's a man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back to school. Well, well, Ronnie, why don't you come along with me? Wouldn't you like to scrub your ears and neck and well, go back to school? I'll go home and scrub <laughs> my ears, but who am I going to neck? <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, Rodney, I bet you don't even know your ABC. Oh, Mindy. You ought to be ashamed of yours, I bet you don't. I just bet you don't even know them. You couldn't say them now. Who? You. ABC? Yeah. Oh, Minnie, that makes me plumb mad. Well, let me hear you. All right. 
Put on the river 